On Friday morning, Donald Trump took to Twitter as he always does. But this time he wasn't necessarily insulting anyone, so it was actually off to a better start today at first. But anyway, on his Twitter feed, Donald Trump told Senate Republicans, if you cannot pass your health care plan, then you simply should vote to just repeal Obamacare and then replace it some other time. You know, maybe if you get time in the fall or winter or whatever, go ahead and just replace it then. But the most important thing is repealing Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act, even if you don't have a replacement. Now we have been over this time and time again, and even the Republicans in the House and Senate, as cruel as they may be, understand that you cannot take health care away from millions of people without some kind of backup plan that you at least pretend is going to help them. That's why the whole idea of repeal then replace was scrapped at the very beginning of your tenure as president, Mr. Trump. People know that's a bad idea. Both parties understand that's a horrid idea. Yet here you are rehashing the same failed ideas that the Republican party has been working on for years. Your party has had seven years, more than seven years to come up with a decent health care plan and they have failed. It's all they've talked about for more than seven years and they failed. You have majorities in the House and the Senate and the White House and you still can't get it done because your primary focus is not on helping people get access to affordable health care. Your focus is on cutting taxes for the wealthy. The Republicans somehow managed to turn a health care bill into a tax giveaway. I mean, those two issues could not be further apart, and yet that's what this health care bill does. So Donald Trump's brilliant plan is to just get rid of Obamacare, and then later on down the road, if we can, we're going to replace it with something. And here's the thing. If you repeal Obamacare, you do immediately get rid of uh, those taxes on the wealthy, so it accomplishes their goal. They're not going to come up with a replacement down the road because they won't need it. They won't care about it at that point because their donors already get the tax break. Repeal then replace simply becomes repeal and not replace. But maybe that's what the Republicans want. Maybe that's better for them because then they don't have to answer for a horrible bill. All they did was take away one that they claim is horrible and dying every day on Twitter. Trump and Paul Ryan out there telling us Obamacare is failing by the day. Um, it's not by any measure whatsoever is that thing failing, but still repealing it obviously is going to cause people to immediately lose their healthcare insurance. Um, insurance companies will be able to kick people off their insurance for pre-existing conditions. They can deny people new coverage because they have pre-existing conditions. They can jack up the rates for people with pre-existing conditions to where they're priced out of it. Medicaid funding would still get cut because the Affordable Care Act increased it. So you millions again, lose their health insurance. Not only that, let's take a different look at this. Okay. An angle that most people haven't really thought about yet. Yes. The worst part of it would be that people lose their health insurance. And according to the estimates, 18 to 24,000 people a year will die as a result of that. But what suddenly happens to insurance markets when they receive less money? Nobody's talked about that. I mean, the insurance market, like most other things, these companies are are traded on wall street. What happens to their stock when 22 million people suddenly stop paying insurance premiums because they can't afford it anymore? What happens to those companies when they start losing billions of dollars in revenue because of this Republican plan? The rates for the rest of us will go up, meaning we will have uh, less disposable income and it's going to lead to a massive crash among, uh, amongst insurance companies, insurance markets, potentially reaching the stock market in other areas, reducing overall economic activity for American citizens. It's an economic disaster waiting to happen. And nobody has talked about it from that angle either. Probably because again, it is secondary to the fact that people will die, but there is no angle from which you can look at this situation and say that it's a good idea. Insurance companies losing money hurts all of us too, because we still have to pay for insurance and we then make up the difference from the people who cannot pay anymore. 
People who die, that is lost productivity. That is lost economic activity. Yet Donald Trump doesn't seem to understand that. Allegedly such a great and wonderful businessman doesn't get the fact that if people don't have money to spend, the economy suffers. But it doesn't matter to him. All that matters to him is that he personally gets a tax break by repealing Obamacare now and then really never getting around to replacing it with any form of meaningful legislation. Because we all know Republicans will never do anything. Their history shows this in the last 17 years. They're not going to pass any form of legislation that actually helps the American working class or the underclass. If you like this video, make sure that you like, comment, and share, and most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to help support Ring of Fire, go to patreon.com slash the ring of fire, become a monthly patron to help support independent progressive media.